Hi, it's Nika. Welcome back to my channel. I have not made like a Happy Mail project in a while. So I will be making like a, I don't want to call it a mini album, but it's kind of like a little journal album to send someone in for a little Happy Mail project. And I'm using these, this cup file from Rochelle at Scrap Craptastic. And I just picked this one cup file out of the pack. But she has this um, cup file pack. It has like over 80 different, I don't know, it has like all different sorts of cup files to do um, journaling and Happy Meal Project. It has little tickets, little envelopes, everything. But I mainly wanted to use this one because, not sure if you can see it. Let me close it. Like the, it has like a little notch right there for the envelope and let me show you this is the one from my punch board this one wouldn't work because the flap doesn't go kind of all the way to the bottom and this one I don't know the flap kind of covers covers most of the envelope so that is what we'll be doing and let me show you this sticker sheet this is the grateful it's called grateful heart so I'm using the sticker sheet and the matching die cuts. These die cuts are so pretty. And I'm thinking this can be used as like either Happy Mail or or like a little gratitude journaling project. So for the inside, I am going to make a little a little notebook. This is a four by six. This is a four by six card. Let me show you the paper I'm using for the inside. I got this in Happy Mail. I think this is really old. This is the uh, Teresa Collins 6x12 paper pad, but it's not card stock. It's like regular paper. So this is what I will be using for the inside of the book. And I mainly wanted to use it because, I don't know, I thought this would be so cute to be like folded in half. To make the booklet, fold your pages in half and put two staples along the fold. To get the edges of the book straight, you will need a cutting mat, a ruler, and a craft knife. Run the craft knife along the edge of the book until you've cut through all of the layers.
Now we're ready to glue the little booklet to the front side of the envelope. And I'm being careful not to put glue around the middle. I only want it around the edges. So it forms a little pocket. That way your slip is still used. The little slit is still usable and you can still close your envelope.
for the back of the envelope I am making a little pocket with a piece of folded vellum and basically I'm just folding it in half and then I will glue it on one side and that will give you a pocket and a flip up piece of vellum to decorate.
to finish it off, I'm stuffing all the little extra die cuts and embellishments into the little back pocket. That way your pen pal has a complete project to work on or if you're using it as a journal, all your supplies are already gathered in one place. Here is a look at the final. This is the front or I can the front or the back. But that's how it looks closed. I think I made the book a little, a little too thick. It's kind of hard to close it, but there it is. so you do have the option like you can glue those pages together or if you want to have you know some white pages in between with nothing on them so those are the pages and then this is the back I decorated the back of the book because I don't know the back it kind of feels like the front because the cover is covered up and then I have this little piece of vellum. You can write on there if you want, but you open that up. You can also write on the back. And then I just tucked all the little die cuts and goodies in the pocket. All right, and I did make a second one. Now this one, the idea is the idea is kind of the same. I made the book a little thinner, and instead of putting instead of putting the book on this side, I put it on the back, which means you don't get that little. Well, I mean, there's still a pocket, but let me see. So the book is kind of similar with. No, this one I did like. Uh pattern page thin white I don't know I kind of mixed it up so there is the book and then for this one this is the back of the book and you do get a little pocket but it's actually the cover of the cover of that 